So in this question, we're given that a is a positive constant, and we have an integral, t plus 1 divided by t, and we're going to integrate that with respect to t, and the integrate limits of integration are going to be from a to 2a, and we know that this whole integral is going to be equal to lin of 7. And the question is asking us to show that a is equal to lin k, for k is a positive constant. So what we want to do is we want to start off by integrating. But we need to think about getting our integral into a form that we know how to integrate. So we're going to rewrite it. The limits stay the same, but we're going to do split the terms. We're going to have t divided by t and 1 divided by t. And always remember, we're integrating with respect to t. So this is going to be equal to our limits stay the same. We're going to have 1 plus 1 over t with respect to t. So we can now carry out the integration and we know that 1 integrated with respect to t is going to be equal to t. And then we know that 1 over t is going to integrate to lin of t. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put square brackets around these and write our limits in to show that we have integrated but we now just need to sub our limits in. So that's the next step. What we're going to do is we're going to sub 2a in and then subtract the expression with a uh, substituted in. So we're going to rewrite that as 2a plus lin of 2a and then we're going to put big brackets around it just to, so we can keep track of our terms and we're going to subtract a plus lin of a. So we go back to the question and we remember that this is all equal to lint of 7 because we've done the integration. So we write that in and then now we have a think, what do we need to do to be able to solve for a? Because that is the aim of the question. So we can try and manipulate our uh, terms here. We can see we have lots of a's and lots of lin of a's. So we write 2a and then we notice lint of 2a. We can use the lot of logarithms log a b is equal to log a plus log b. So this means that lin 2 of a is going to be equal to lin of 2 plus lin of a. And then our next term is going to be a negative multiplied by the bracket, so negative a, negative lin a, and this is all equal to lin of 7. So we can now collect the like terms. So we see that we have a 2a and a negative a. So we combine them, we have a, and then our lin 2, that will stay, but we've got a plus lin a and a minus lin a, which will leave us with lin 2, and we recall that that is equal to lin of 7. So then our next stage is going to be to solve for a. So we subtract lin of 2 from both sides. And this is going to leave us with lint of 7 minus lint of 2. And then we can now use the law of logarithms again. Recall that log a minus log b is equal to log a over b. So this means we can rewrite lint of 7 minus lint of 2 as lint of 7 divided by 2. So this now looks quite like what we're aiming for. So a is equal to lint 7 over 2. And we can rewrite this as a is equal to lint of k, where k is equal to 7 over 2. So this is us reached the end goal. We've solved the constant k. So now we're going to take a look back. This question was worth 4 marks. So where did we get our marks? So we got our first mark for attempting to, attempting to divide each term by t. So you can see here when we went from t plus 1 over t to 1 plus 1 over t, that was us receiving our first mark. We then received our second mark for knowing how to integrate. So for going from 1 plus 1 over t, integrating that, to getting t plus lin of t. So we then got a third mark for knowing to substitute 
a into a into our expression. So this was substituting our values into the limits and then making it equal to the lint of 7. And finally, our fourth mark came from the rest of the working, all the algebraic manipulation of the expression to come to the conclusion that a is equal to lin of 7 over 2.